Welcome to another episode of Two Ball Guys FCs. Yours truly, right? 2012, alongside Don Rumba. We're there, we're there, you see. All right, so we're just gonna dive straight into it, right? Normally, we don't try to be too political or too too much into the racism thing, but this one really hit home with us, you know? Yeah. Like, a boy for good. Torpedo Moscow cancels the contract of a black player because of fans protests. Yo, them for copying themselves. Go at one side. It's a man say. Yo, and, and, and the funniest thing is the fans are protesting. The fans are protesting. And the ownership granted what the fans wanted by terminating the contract. And this is in Russia. Yeah. Right off the footsteps of the World Cup. Exactly. Where fair play and all them things they are going. You see me I say inclusion. All the team them are get together and take picture. Or y'all gonna do that? Right off the back of the World Cup. And, and, and the quote that gets me the most is the fact that they said their team is nicknamed Black and White. And the quote that the fans are out there screaming and have a banner for is saying, We are black, we have black in our color, but only white in our lineups. That makes no sense, Rasta. You see what I said? No sense. If go so, so that's very disturbing, right? Because football is about coming together, right? Even in previous times, we had wars, we had everything, teams could come together and play a game and put aside everything. Football is about coming together, regardless of your race, your ethnicity, or where you're from. We're about, it's a family, everybody come together. It's about unity and they're using it in the wrong way. Football is a tool of peace and an ambassador of peace. That's why we have FIFA fair play. Exactly. So out with the races in Russia, do better than that. Please do better than that, because this happened before in the past with Zenit, when y'all didn't want Hulk, and other black Brazilian players to play for your team. It has to stop, man. We all won. We all bleed the same color, red. Exactly. We're not up on that. All right, uh, enough. We're not even gonna spend too much time on that. We're just gonna jump right into the next topic. And of course, we're coming off the World Cup. So speaking of Russia, let's talk about the World Cup. Let's talk about the World Cup. First of yeah. all, congratulations <laughs> to France. Y'all did it, y'all did Pogba, great. Man United. Great. You already know. Let's <laughs> cheer for you, man. I don't uh, care who you cheer for. Man lost United. My <laughs> lost my voice cheering for friends. And, and I'm a Brazilian fan, to be honest. But, you know, that's where we at. So, congratulations to the French team. I think they did good. You know, you yeah, know they, they for real. Conte played really well. Well, he was kind of off in that game because he was sick. So, he was yeah. off in that game a little bit. But Pogba showed up. Griezmann showed up. They got a couple of lucky touches in there. But overall, they deserved it. You know what I'm saying? The yeah, penalty plus, call was harsh. And plus, their um, recent history in the World Cups haven't been the greatest. You know what I'm saying? The last one, they had to some friction in the camp and all that. Couldn't even make it out the first round. Couldn't even make it. So this World Cup, they did their thing for real, for real. And, was, and, and on top of that, they're a really young team. So they did really good given the fact that they're a young team. So we're real proud of them. Uh, Pogba and the whole entire squad did good. The minute they got past Belgium, at that point I was like, yeah. you know, this team is real good. They're really good and they got a plan. They got a strategy. You see it in every game. They're man marking. They got somebody to fluster the main stars. Like, exactly. we ain't even seen Mudric, which allegedly is one of the players of the tournament. We ain't seen yeah. you. Where you at? Where you at? You did like a magician trick and you just disappeared, bro. The game was, the game was too fast paced. For, for Croatia because I was there cheering for Croatia trying to get the underdogs to take over you know what I'm saying I'm always with the underdog because they come from the struggle but France just overpowered them that magician pass that Pogba made from the midfield to find Mbappe all wide wow yeah. what a pass man Yo. Uh, nah, yeah. we need more of that at Manchester that's exactly <laughs> what we need more from you Pogba I don't care if you're the captain no or doubt. not of the team that's fine we don't need you to captain the team to be the leader of the team. Just be the leader and continue making those passes. And you ain't going nowhere because we're going to put 300 million on you <laughs> if somebody want to buy you. So you ain't going nowhere. So just sit tight, get your seatbelt, mm. strap in, and let's win this championship this season. Start it off I'm calling it real, treble. Treble. real good. Treble. You know? And a matter of fact, speaking of, you know, just transitioning from that and going straight into the season. Good segue. Um... Manu's first game was uh, a couple of nights ago, and I saw right. the kids playing. The the youth, uh, Chiang. Okay. Uh, he was in that. He is incredible, man. <laughs> he is that's dope. That's absolutely dope. incredible. That guy, 
I hope Mourinho keeps him in the squad and plays him this season because he's a real threat up front on there. You saw what he did with that square that came in the goal that led to the mat, the, the goal from one matter. Mm -hmm. So that was, he was really good. He was impressive. He was really impressive, man. So I like what I see what the youngsters so, from the youngsters so far, but yeah, I still think we should have won the game. Mourinho is not one to uh, really push forward the young youth. You know what I'm saying? So that's great to have him in the game so we can integrate the youth because academy players always bleed for the club different. You know what I'm saying? So I like that. Yeah, absolutely, man. Absolutely. And, and let's just dive right into some, some Manchester United news, right? So Jose Mourinho did his first interview this week, right? And he came out saying, I don't know what the transfer plan is. I'm worried. Some of my players are missing. They're not here. Rumor is that some of them might not even start the first game versus Leicester City. So, this has me concerned. I don't know about mind games. Every I don't care if it's mind games, right? It still got me concerned. If you're the you're the coach and you're saying you don't know what the transfer plan is, you don't know who you're targeting. Mm. You're worried. You, you don't have the players yeah. that you want. The mind the mind strive off a of conflict. That's Mourinho. When there's the the pot of bubble and the fire under everybody ass, you know what I'm saying? That's when he strives and wins trophies and does the most when he's the most hated. You know what I'm saying? The special one. He just want to be hated, even by his own players. But should we trust? Or should we put our trust in Ed Woodard? Because last year, technically speaking, he surprised us. He surprised us with a couple of signings, but right. I mean... So far, I don't know. I don't know, man. I see I see Liverpool making moves. I see Arsenal making yeah. moves. I see West Ham sure. making moves. I see Man City making moves. I mean, but, Woodard man. has the, the money, you know what I'm saying? What, what are we going to do? We just got to protest online, you know what I'm saying? Comment, like, subscribe, repost, because, yo, general. I, I, I don't know, man. It's like, it, it's concerning. I know we need somebody out on the right wing. Mm -hmm. We need a central defender. We need a couple other players, but I don't see any any movements. I need to see some more movements from the team and, and try to figure out what Edward Art is doing. You right, know? right. Um, it's good to see Sanchez and Matic joining up with the team, and I think Luca Kuh will be joining up with the team later on, maybe the end of this week, because he's already stateside, yeah. but he just hasn't joined with the team as of yet so y'all yeah, have enough rest now you know what i'm saying back to business the world cup was cool and everything that was cute whatever <laughs> man united time yeah that's what we want to do so 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 who are the players that manchester united should target so right so here's the thing we obviously know we need somebody on the right wing chiong as you look good out there mm -hmm. in, in my opinion um but um the top five targets that we got on board right now that could possibly sign with Man U, which the one I'm most excited about is Leon Bailey. You know, Leon yeah. Bailey is yeah, a target. And, and, and that would be huge. I'm talking about, yeah. I'm buying his jersey tomorrow if, if Man U hey, sign him. Right away. Bailey, he's we good. want you out there. We want you for Man U. You see what I said? Sign a contract. Like a dirty place. A five-year contract, preferably. <laughs> we want you to stay forever. And exactly. It's still targeting <laughs> Garrett Bale. You know, I don't know for what. There hasn't been whatever. any recent news about it or any updates. You know, it, it, he's training with Real Madrid. It looks like he might stay at Real Madrid. Yes, yeah, stay, stay, please. You know, curl up on the one rock and go my you. Rebic, I'm not sold on. Um, he's a good young guy, but is he the guy that's going to put Manchester United over the top? I don't think so. Malcolm, yeah, he's all right, but he's not real. So I don't know. I don't know about Malcolm. We'll we'll just see. Tavin is interesting. Yeah, uh, the French, but he's really interesting. Um, he would be a good signing, but would he be the one to put us over the top? I don't know, but I think he'd be excellent out on that wing. Um, uh, wing back for Juventus, though. I, I, like, I like him. So, allegedly, they agreed to personal terms, and the deal is agreed. Ink, to on, have the, ink on the contract. We need the ink to dry. We need this announcement you know like saying? yesterday. Exactly. We need to say that Sandro is coming. I think this is excellent left back for us. Yes, I see Luke Shaw is trying, but I think Sandro would, would really, like... He's really big on that wing. It would be a great right. signing for us. That would definitely get the fans excited. And him have some skills and everything. I should young. He's, he's Brazilian. Uh, yeah, exactly. He's Brazilian. What you I watched a recent video of him 
bust two salad, you know what I said, done two boy and everything. Nutmegs so everywhere. You got the flavor. Nutmegs everywhere, man. So, so we're looking out for that. Um, so that's cool in terms of transfer news there. The other thing that really is really disturbing this week is that Marshall still wants to leave. Even though he started the preseason game and he looked good. He looked good in the game. Yeah, Marshall going to put out 100% every time. You know what I'm saying? He definitely going to run the left side. But this is Manchester United. You're not going to play every game. You're not going to get all the minutes. You're going to get sub. You're going to miss matches. It's a long season. Yeah, so 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 Manchester put a price tag on him of $116 million, right? So if <laughs> you to want him, you're going to pay. And not only that, <laughs> but we have the option to extend his contract by a year, which we will extend Definitely. his contract, especially if you want to leave, because then whichever other club comes after that, they're going to have to pay. Yeah. You know, you, you're going to learn today, you're going to pay, <laughs> you know? And we're not letting Marshall go. I think he is definitely a bright prospect for the future. Right. If he I, was playing in the World Cup with Mbappe, he would have looked just as bright as Mbappe. Exactly. He got the skills just like Mbappe, just real, not getting the notice. You know what I'm saying? So that's not a player that we ever want. To leave Man U. I like the fact that they put that big price tag on him. So let it stay right there. And definitely sell him outside the Premier League. Yeah. We, if, we don't want we him to burn him. us. If we sell him. Yeah, if yeah. We, we don't him. want him to burn us. Um, <laughs> only other transfer news um, that's really relevant is we're looking at Alexi um, Vidal. Um, Vidal. Arturo Vidal. Alexi yeah, Vidal. Yeah, I'm thinking yeah. of Sanchez. <laughs> oh, Arturo yeah. Vidal. I was wondering. Um, <laughs> he, he is available for $30 million. Might be a good signing. Yeah. Um, cheap signing. For the price, I'm interested, but will he bring a championship to Man U? I don't know, but it would be a good player there, and he has some familiarity with Pogba. Right, they used to right, play right. The link Juventus, up. So it should be easy for him to gel in regards to And he has his boy Sanchez there too. So Hey, well, look at that. So it might Family be Family reunion. It might be interesting to have that in, in regards to it, you know? So, 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 so let us know what your thoughts are, you know? Leave a comment at the bottom. Definitely like the video. For sure. Um, spread the word. Let them know that two ball guys FC is. We're gonna keep doing this. Keep keep spreading the word about us until the show takes off. We're gonna keep doing it. Manchester United use everything soccer related, man. So this your boy, right? Twenty twelve. That's your boy, Don Rumba. Yeah, we there. Don't know a thing, We out.